new day. Ground's a little froze, a little out of breath. We come around the corner and end up getting stuck here a bit. So, yeah. We're gonna load these up in here and then load the rest out on the trail that I unloaded yesterday. Heather and I unloaded it just to get this home until the ground froze. You folks are interested in one of these pulp hooks too that we use. I posted a link on the last video to Amazon where you can get one of these if you're interested. I like these pulp hooks. For loading logs, you can't beat them. I think a pulp hook has a little hook right here. A hay hook's different. I think it's shaped a little differently too. Oh, I'm out of breath. God, my machine stuck, I had to fight with it. How they got hers jammed on a log. They weren't really stuck, they were jammed on a log, so that's all. Anyway, yeah, we're gonna see what we can do. The ground is good and hard in here now. I didn't polish the skis up. <clears throat> I didn't do anything with the skis on the sleigh. I'm figuring just with this frozen hard ground, Towing a bit of a load, it should uh, polish them up. So I'm going to pull ahead and load the rest up and then uh, we'll stop on the trail and load the rest up and we'll see what we can pull over that hill. Logs are small. They are frozen in a bit though. I'm back here. That's okay. I don't mind. It'd be a lot easier towing it today. Okay. I will let Heather get her machine going and we'll head out. Well, we loaded the rest up, folks, and we're going to see if I can get moving with this on the trail. There's not a lot of wood there. I mean, with small stuff, you usually go to the height of the rack or larger. Now, I didn't polish up my skis either on the slice, so I want to see what it's like. I want to see if I can get moving, and if I can, I'll have Heather follow me and see how I do up that hill with that load. It's not a big load, but still, I mean, the conditions aren't perfect yet. So we'll see. See if I can get going.
hit the bottom of the hill a little faster than I had to. I could have come up no problem. Now those skis aren't even polished yet, so. And like I suspected, I should have made my trail straighter. So when I got to the top, I couldn't steer very well. The front of my machine kept trying to lift. So uh, we're going to unload this and we're going to go get another load, folks. I see a lot of people sharpening chainsaws online videos. I see most of them have to use guides or they want to use guides. They use those guides that clamp onto the bar to get the right angle. The problem with that is if they don't hammer their bar tight again, because that will actually wear and then your chain will flop like this. Mine's getting a little worn. So when you clamp your, your guide tool on the bar, when you start pushing, if that tooth rocks a little bit, it's gonna throw your your file out. So I'll show you my guide, folks. See that finger? That file fits in there just nicely. I have built my own guide right into my finger. Can you see that? I don't know if that's showing up, but that sits right in there perfectly. I got two of them, one for one side, one for the other side. You see that? I hope it's showing up there. But that's my guide, folks. Yeah, it's showing up. That's how I file. I've done it so many years in the bush when you're working. <clears throat> if you're doing it for a living, you don't have time to strap on these fancy little guide tools to sharpen your chain. Any fellow that's worked in the bush knows that. There's a lot of channels out there that practice homesteading and a lot of them, I think some of them maybe are new at it and they're trying, which is good. Some people are too dependent on these fancy tools, these fancy little gizmos to get things properly done when you can really do without these fancy little gizmos. There's no need for it in my opinion. If, if you train yourself how to do it, you won't need those. Then you're not dependent on it. Anyways, yes, if you sharpen it enough, if you hold your hand just like this, see where my hand is? Just watch this, folks. I get my thumb on the chain, get my thumb on that link. You see there's that, that link right here. You see that little, that rivet that holds the link together? I put my thumb right on there. I put my finger right like this and I take that file. So my thumb here also pushes against the file a little bit. And that is the perfect angle for sharpening a chainsaw. That's what I use. You see that mark? Fits right in there perfectly. And my thumb, I end up wearing a mark in it as well. Didn't buy it on eBay. Didn't buy it on Amazon. <laughs> I grew it. And uh, it's very easy, folks. Now, I hope I, I don't mean to sound like I'm bragging either, folks, either. But if you're new at this game, sharpening a chainsaw, get the chain that has a little mark on it. It'll have a little mark there. This one don't have it because I don't I don't buy them anymore. But when I was first starting out, um, I'll be 50 soon. When I was 19, 18 years old, I used to get the ones that had the mark across there. Now I've trained myself enough, I know where it should be. So, same, same. I got that little, see that little dent in there? That's from holding, that's from putting my thumb <coughs> on that rivet. My hand goes here, and just like that again, see? That's how I do it. Never drag the file back, never, never. You just end up wrecking your file. Every once in a while, clean the filings off of it. Rub it backwards. You know, when you gotta get something done, it's nice not to have to rely on a special tool. I, I don't wanna carry a whole bunch of special tools with me when I come into the bush. This channel is not to teach anybody. I hope folks know this. It's not to teach anybody at all because I really don't have anything to teach anybody. I do this mostly so people can see what we're doing and maybe, maybe they can enjoy a little bit of what we're doing. They can see how life doesn't have to be so complicated. Life can be simple if you want it to be. As, as long as your health is still good enough to keep it simple. Yeah. That's the way we, that's the way we do it. I've got that side all sharp enough. Took no time at all. I started blabbing, shooting some hot air around. Before I knew it, I was done. <laughs> I haven't even taken the tag off that, you know that? <coughs> Excuse me. What was that? Oh, it's a, oh, crow. It's a crow. 
Yeah. Crow raven. Yeah, maybe raven. I think I think the crows leave here in the winter. I think the crows are the small ones. I think the ravens are large. Oh, yeah, I think the ravens are bigger. Yeah, so the so the crows leave, the ravens stay, and then when the little guys come back, the crows they chase the big ones away. I, I know it's weird, but that's what, but they do it. Oh, another thing with these chainsaws too, I forgot to mention, folks. If anybody buys one of these battery operated chainsaws, I don't know if they're all like this, but this one here, if I'm cutting, I'll turn it on. If I'm cutting, <laughs> chain brake clicks on. Won't do nothing. Okay, but the chainsaw still stays on. That is an electronic chain brake. As long as that chain brake is on and the chainsaw is on, it's still sucking power out of your battery. So if that chain brake comes on, shut it off. If you're using one of these battery saws, don't get in the habit of kicking those chain brakes on between logs because what you're doing is killing your battery premature. Because that chain brake takes power, it's electronic. It, it'll, it'll suck life out of your battery fast. This this side always works for me, but that's okay. I I don't mind. I just do it like this here. I am quite used to see that's where the other see this this lower notch was for the other side. This higher no, notch now is for this side. And I have it. Now probably shouldn't do this, but I put a little notch right here. And then if I miss it, I put it here. So I know I started off on this little tooth. And that's what I do. Now you see the chainsaw's on, it's hard to roll that chain. Shut the chain off, rolls like nothing. There's uh, some things I like about these saws and some things not so much. But, you, but if you want to sharpen the chain and you want this chain to roll easier, shut it off. You'll find it's a lot easier. But I love these, I love these little battery saws. I wouldn't want to do without one now. No, they're convenient. They sure are. They're quiet. Mm -hmm. No stink. Yeah. And uh, nothing to run. And as long as you have enough Light. solar panels, you can charge them for free. Gonna go see if I can find some dead trees. Yeah. And okay, we're gonna move on up close. Oh, you smell the pine out of that? Yeah, it smells really good. That's been only dead for a little while. Yeah, it smells nice. It's leaning that way, so if any luck, I don't drop it in one of those trees. I might need a push if you don't mind, Heather. Okay, sure. We'll see here, just a minute. Right? Maybe not. It's going good. You're gonna get hung up, more yeah. than likely. Pretty hard to start off the year without getting one hung up, right? That's the way it goes. <coughs> well, I don't care which way you roll, just come out of the tree. That's all I want.
Yo! It's a good one. Now, I'm not gonna haul too much on this because this is a brand, brand new trail. I gotta cut my guides down. Yeah. But there's still decent flakes. <coughs> Excuse me. Eight foot, brother. <laughs> These will be more saw logs. Actually, you know what? This might be firewood. Where's the eight foot mark? Sorry, I went a little far. Okay. I was good. This won't be much of a load. But I don't want too much of a load on this fresh trail. Yeah, I guessed that pretty right, didn't I? Okay. afternoon in here, isn't it? It is. It's very nice. This will be the third eight quarter. Okay, we got her. You don't take too many sleigh loads like this to add up to a 16 inch face cord. Or, I guess you folks would call it a third of a bush cord. Okay. much more than this one tree I can pull out of this fresh trail. I don't want to push it. Okay. Now there was one right in the way here. This one here. I want to drop it and cut the stump down so I can get out of the way. So I can get out of here. Um, darn, it's going to fall right on the trail, isn't it? I'm gonna follow right through here. I don't mind collecting it later. I just don't want it on the trail right now. Ah, it's gonna go that way. We'll let it go that way right down through there. No, no, I think you're gonna go. We're not playing these games today, are we? I think they want to. Yeah, I think it's going anyway. Bye-bye. Now, I wanna cut this down. Another thing folks, when I cut a stump, I try to cut it with the top of the bar, then it throws the sand and stuff out away from the bar. If I cut with this edge, then it brings all the sand and stuff back in here and it can plug up the chain. There's something to remember if you're ever doing this in the bush. People have their own preferences. I like to cut with the top so it throws the stuff away from the bar. Measuring tape. Mm -hmm. 
This will give us quite a load, I think. Might be a little more than what we bargained for. But... Sorry about the uh... shaking of the camera. Yes. Can't be helped. More. I need to. Can you just more. pull whatever you need and then. There we go. Okay, I got it. I'm going to bring up that snowmobile and stay and we're going to see how it, how it pulls. I'm going to load up here first and see if I can even pull that stuff. It's really soft as you can see. Yeah, it's very if, uh, light. If I can't pull it, I'll just leave it in here and get it when it freezes. Yeah. You know me, I got to try. I know. That's what I love about you. Well, not just that. <laughs> not just that. <laughs> not just what? I missed it. What did you say? I said, that's what I love about you. Oh. And I said, well, not just that. I'm stubborn and bullheaded is what you're saying. Sounds good. That, that pulled pretty good even through this fresh trail. I'm gonna cut a few more. These are small logs. Nice for the woodshed, that's what we're doing for. And there may be a few here that we can use on the sawmill as well. And these small loads polish up the skis. Cut this up if you have the measuring tape. folks. All the logs keep sliding back. I have to ratchet strap it down or put something rough on top of that bunk. But just because I have to fight with a little bit in the bush when you have to back up and bump the sleigh, that's what happens. It slide back. Once I get them all pulled ahead, they're usually pretty good though on a good hard trail. But I will rack to strap these down eventually. Then I won't have to worry. There we go. Again, that's not a large load, but I'm polishing up the skis right now on this way. Let me tell you, that's warm. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna pull that little one ahead. I see it's back of it here. 
good enough. I'm gonna load this one on too while I'm waiting. Well, not waiting, but uh, you know, I'm here. May as well take it with me, right? It's not a super long one. Let me see. It's almost eight foot. down to that storm. We cut them out of the way to make our trail through here to groom it. One more and then we'll be off. We didn't measure these though, remember? No, we didn't. We just cut them up and yeah. cut them out of the way. Hey, but that one we got pretty close to eight feet, didn't we? Yeah. Yes, that's not the correct way to use a bolt hook. That's the way I use a bolt hook. I think that load's smaller than the last one, of course, but. We're getting it though. We're getting these skis polished up with minimal effort. I think I should be putting this one over here though. And rolling this one over here. Come on, you get over there. Get there. Right. Good enough. Kind of an ugly looking load, but gonna do. Then any luck I don't lose anything. I'm gonna head for home and see how this pulls, folks. See if I can make it up the hill with this load. Each load should get easier and easier. Strap is a must, folks. If you can see, I still pulled it up there with these dragging, so that's not bad. <laughs> yeah, I'd say that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm gonna reload this. We're almost home. Yeah, a ratchet strap along the front. I'll hook one into here, hook one in here, run it over the logs, strap it down one at the front, one at the back. You see, I'll be fine coming up that hill. Yeah, it pulls up there nicely. Yeah, I don't have a problem pulling it, it's just the bump, see? Yeah. But uh, once a ratchet's strapped down, that won't matter. And look, we're in the yard anyways. I'll carry this one up here. We'll reload it. See, I'm not even sinking here. That's some good exercise. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'd say so. We got that loaded, folks. I think it'll be nothing to get it to the to the other pile, and we'll show you what we have in two small loads for firewood. Right down the 
this one here. So go right on top of that one on the outside. Um, I want to get rid of this one. Grab this one. Well, that's what we have with uh, two really half loads coming up that hill. They're just over eight foot long. Some of them might be able to use for a saw log or two. It's about four feet wide at the bottom. But they were just playing around. We're just getting the skis polished up on that sleigh. But yeah, for sure. A couple of ratchet straps. Even a post down the center would be nice, but I can't really do that either because uh, it, I'm going to have to find a way to make it twist like that. And it's nice to be able to extend it if I want to by different chains. I think a couple of ratchet straps is the ticket. Anyways, that's it for today, folks. You take care. We hope you enjoyed this so far. And uh, we'll talk to you another time. And please remember, try to share our videos if you have any kind of social media outlet that would be appreciated. And a like would be appreciated. And I am going to put a link at the bottom for one of these folks, for any of you folks that are interested. I'll put an Amazon link at the bottom. And uh, if you buy one as well, our little channel makes, makes a little bit off that as well. It's not much, but we do make a little bit off of it. Even if you go through that link and you don't buy that, if you buy something else, I believe we get a small portion of it as well.